Hat. It's a hat name. Yeah, I actually recorded a new playthrough, so that's coming. I'll let it be a surprise. Alan Wake, nah. Story games don't interest me for years. Oh my god, are they gonna fuck next? What the fuck is going on here? I don't even wanna play anymore. <laughs> what is happening? Why am I so butthurt? This is like, it happened right away. We barely gotten started on the game and they just... Why? And horror games haven't scared me in years either. <laughs> Ow. It'll just be me suffering through badly written dialogue. I hate games like that now. I can't stand it. I want games where I do things, not just walk around walking simulator. I want game to be game. What anime, anime have I watched recently? If you have a recommendation, I'll take it because I have been trying to find a new one. I've been trying to immerse myself more with Japanese. I should really just watch like kids cartoons like, what's it called? The blue cat thing, Daruma or something. Doraemon. Well, Bjorn watched Kokomelon. <laughs> Maybe when he's older, I don't, I genuinely don't care. But right now, I'm absolutely not. Like, he's way too young to be watching TV. The sun is creeping in now. I think as soon I'll get blown out. I guess with, with the iPad stuff, it's like, when I was a kid, I was satisfied literally, I don't know, just like an action figure or anything. You could entertain yourself for hours. I feel like if you open that Pandora's box with making them watch apps and like that, then it's like game over. They're not going to care about anything else. So hold off as long as possible. If someone's buddy in Tokyo, would it be okay if they approached and said hi? Yeah, for sure. As long as I'm not eating. I always feel awkward at restaurants because then it's like someone comes up, everyone else is like, what's going on over there? Oh, cool. Now everyone stares at me. Love it. That's my grip strength after so much bouldering. Kind of bad still. Grip strength is like the coolest thing. Well, I, I'm a dad now, so I gotta have grip strength. Should I try it? I have one of those test things. <laughs> I don't know why I bought this. It's not very epic minimalist. All right. <laughs> <laughs> looks like I'm taking a shit. <laughs> What's that? 53.8. Whenever I do one of these, I'm like, I feel like I could have done better. Let's try again. Sandy. Should I have my fingertips or should I have more? Like, what's the better thing? Lower. 53.2. Our left hand. Let's try it. 48.4. Using my feet. Alright, EB test. Chin strength, 3.5. Tongue strength, 1.4. Nose strength. Oh, uh, nose strength was weak. Interesting. A Bjorn update. I can really tickle him now. And he goes crazy for it. It's so cute. Because before he used to hate changing diapers. But now if I tickle him before, he gets in a really good mood. It's just been getting better and better. I think the first two months was, was so hard to me. It's still hard, honestly. But the first two months... It was, it was tough, man. All the adjustment, trying to understand, everything is new, everything's terrifying. But you get nothing back, like you can't really interact with the baby when they're that young too. So I was just like, damn, this... A thanks would be nice, at least. But when they start laughing and smile at you and... Yeah, all that shit, that's the best. Does Bjorn like the dogs or interact? No, he's still a bit too young. He likes to feel everything. So he likes to grab Edgar's fur and just like touch it. But that's about it. Uh, did Bjorn become Japanese citizen automatically? No, Japan doesn't have that. He's Swedish and Italian. Then I think if we stay here until he's 10, then it will get citizenship, I think. <laughs> How is my Japanese going? Able to communicate fluently? Uh, no. I'm too slow. Too slow. I feel like I know so much at this point, but it's I'm just too slow. If everyone spoke like this and communicate, articulated, really clearly and i could respond with two minutes thinking time then yeah i'm fluent <laughs> does it in a way make it somewhat lonely i lived in ecuador for a year and in the beginning i had a lonely feeling not even being able to communicate no i like my solitude <laughs> i don't want people messing with me a lot of japanese people will small talk with you but they don't step out of bounds you know it's more like okay cool see ya is there anything I miss about UK or Sweden? Probably. Family and friends for sure. What do you miss about UK? That's a tough one. I kiss the ground every day and I'm happy it's not UK. <laughs> I was so done with UK. Hey, change subject. I built the keyboard. Very cool, right? I can't use it. <laughs> it's built more ergonomically in the sense that all the letters are directly underneath each other. Whereas a regular keyboard, the one I have right now, uh, they're sort of to the side, which I'm so used to. This makes more sense. 
but then I'm trying to, it's too much effort to relearn. So I was like, cool, I'm probably not going to use it. <laughs> but it was really fun. I see why people like building keyboard because the soldering was so easy and repetitive because you have to do it for each switch. So it was like pretty chill. I liked it. Oh yeah. Separated keyboard is the best because when you put out your hands on a desk, it's not like you put them like this, right? It's like that. You want a split keyboard, my man. That's what I have right now. I love, I love this one. So that's why I thought, it, oh, it'd be cool to build my own split keyboard. Can't use it. I think I went from like 85 words per minute to like 40. <laughs> so I was like, I don't already have enough time, and then I'm trying to answer emails on this keyboard, and I'm like, dear, no. Nah. Hope this email finds blue blell. More book reviews? I'm actually working on a bigger book review project. That will take a long time, but it's something I've been wanting to do for ages. Since I became a dad, like I don't have hours to sit down and work on things. So I'm in trying to do like, okay, I have 10 minutes or 15 minutes. I'll work on the script for this video. That will take a long, long, long time. And I can guarantee you it won't be worth the effort. <laughs> It's better to just do a react video. <laughs> yeah, th th it's happening. <laughs> we'll see how long it takes for me to ascend. I grown tired of unsolicited parenting advice. I feel like all my friends and family are very sensitive, sensible, and they know how annoying that is. <laughs> so no, I haven't had that issue actually. Yeah, I guess it didn't happen today, guys. The a clown came in. Never mind. It happened quickly now. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> not full ascension today, guys. Did you guys like the Sweden video? I thought it was hilarious. I'm so glad I did that stupid presentation. <laughs> it's so fun to have Ken on that. I literally do that speech to everyone I meet or I grow close friends with. They have to know. <laughs> All right, we're back. All right, guys, it's been real. I'll see you in the other side. Take care. I'll come transformed. PewDiePie 2.0 comes out. <laughs> this is ridiculous. <laughs> oh my god. Hello. There we go. I still exist. <laughs> Alright, I'll change. Hey there, go to bed. Alright, what do you guys want to ask? Uh, have I improved my serving skills? Uh, I haven't gotten a chance to serve. I only gone twice this year. First three times? Bouldering is just a cope for me. The fact that I can't serve. Oh, that's a good idea, Candy Cube. I can just 3D print a sun visor. Yeah, of course. I'm so done. Yeah, I'll do that later, actually. <laughs> Hold on. Stay still. Don't move. Oh, I see. You're that size. Okay. Not judging. Fucking hell, it's still so bright. No, it's still. How is this possible? Uh, it looks kind of cool. 3 p.m. is not streaming time, apparently. All right, guys. See you. See you. Bye-bye. Take care, guys. Thank you.